Why are smart cards attackers' favorite persistence tool? Let's find out. When hit by an APT attack, many companies implement smart cards and or other two-factor authentication mechanisms as a reactionary measure. It can be Google Authenticate or devices like YubiKey or the classic employee smart cards. But thinking that these solutions will prevent credential theft is a big mistake. Attackers can bypass these protection mechanisms using a variety of common Active Directory credentials theft techniques. Today, I will present to you how to steal the credentials of a smart card protected user using Pass the Hash. We will be using the YubiKey for our demonstration. When authenticating a user in an Active Directory environment with a smart card and PIN code, or a fingerprint, the client certificate, which is the smart card certificate, will be verified by the domain controller against your local certificate authority. Once it is verified, the domain controller returns a NTLM hash back to the client. The tricky part is that the hash is not calculated based on your password, like it should during a normal logon process. Instead, the hash is calculated based on a randomly selected string. This is a huge misconception in the cybersecurity industry. From now on, your smart card certificate is useless. Presenting the same hash to the DC identifies you as that user and will get you authenticated. The hash of a smart card logon is calculated once when your admin sets the following attribute. Smart card is required for interactive logon. When admins can force users to change their own passwords periodically and therefore replace their old NTLM hash, the smart card NTLM hash lifetime is forever. It never expires. If I was an attacker, I would look for privileged accounts protected by smart cards, steal their hash, and gain lifetime persistency on your domain. Again, this is important. I will be able to pass the hash of that user forever until he disables his smart card or deletes his account. The only advantage that the smart card has over normal password usage is that it eliminates normal clear text password theft because there is no password. So physical password theft scenarios will be impossible. Smart cards only manage to mitigate simple old school attacks. All right, let's steal the smart card hash. Insert YubiKey in three, two, one. After inserting the smart card, I will initiate a RDP connection and log in as a privileged user using my smart card. Typing the required pin code for the logon. A RDP session will pop. Opening PowerShell and typing the command, who am I? And then querying the Active Directory. As you can see, I'm logged on as a privileged domain admin account. All right, now I will log into the same machine using an unprivileged account without the smart card. This account will demonstrate the credentials theft without any privileges, but the local administrator. Look here, this account is only a member of the domain users group. As you can see, I'm trying to test if I have any privileges to perform lateral movement towards the domain controller. I get an access denied error. Now I will launch Mimi Cats, elevate to local debug privileges, and dump credentials from the memory. I have just identified the credentials of the last logged on smart card privilege session. I'm copying the NTLM hash of that user. And now I perform past the hash using the stolen hash of the smart card.
trying to access the domain controller again. Success! I have privileges to access the DC. This is a game over scenario for your organization. The domain is compromised. Naturally, this begs the question, how protected are you? Listed here are three types of protection measures to guard against credentials theft. You can see with a smart card, you are only protected against clear text password theft. Even with third-party 2FA, only a handful of these solutions can protect you from past the hash credentials theft. What about past the ticket and token manipulation? We designed Javelin AD Protect with this in mind, to protect you against all types of credentials and token manipulation theft. In this video, we only demonstrated past the hash credentials theft. To learn more about the other attacks in this chart, such as past the ticket, click here.